Hey gang, today we're going to do a country rock solo in D, kind of similar to maybe what the Stones would do. Um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Hey, I'm playing this one all with my fingers instead of a pick, and I'm trying to put in some of those pedal steel type licks, um, you know, and some of those slides in there, kind of countryish sounding. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, I hope you like it, and if you do, give it the thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for one or a couple of these every single week. Here we come in just a second. All right, gang, let's go over this note for note. Uh, before we do, you should download the tab from the link in the description below. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. All right, now the chords, even though they're written in the tab, let's go over them very briefly. They're very simple, okay? So it's just, um, start. this is in D, so it's gonna start on a D. D, A, G, Back to D, and again, D, A, G, D. All right, and that's it for this one. Now for the sound, I've just got a little bit of dirt on it, not too much. Um, I'm just going for that little bit of dirty sound, okay? All right, stones-ish, if you will. All right, let me play the whole solo first, kind of slowly, and then we'll go over it line by line, okay? Here we go. Let's go through it now line by line. There are a couple of pickup notes. Here they are right here. All right, so that's a slide up on the fourth uh, from seven to nine. And then two sevens on the third. Back to the ninth on the fourth. And we're ready for the song. Now you'll notice I'm playing uh, some down strokes with my thumb and then up strokes mostly with my first finger on this. Pretty much all of this is going to be done with those two fingers. All right, so that's it. Here's the first actual line of it over that D chord going to the A. Okay, so very typical country sort of lick. We're gonna do a whole step bend, hold it, and then play a couple of extra notes above it. So we're gonna do that on the third string, ninth fret, play that, pull it up a whole step. While you've got it up, we're gonna play the tenth on the second string twice, hit that ninth again, let it come down. One more time. Okay, and then it comes back down to seven, and ninth up and ninth. Give it some vibrato. Here's the whole thing again slowly. Oh, forgot about this. To end it, we're going to play on the second string, eighth, pull off the seven, and then seven on the third. Okay, one more time slowly. Okay, here is the next line. Okay, very much a pedal steel lick. You've got a pre-bend here. I'm going to start out by pre-bending on the second string, 10th fret. All right, now this is tough to do, so you really have to get an idea of how much a real bend is to give that whole step. You're trying to bend to this. So this will work, but you don't want to play it first. You want to, you want to bend it first. 
So that's the idea is you want to bend it before you play it. All right. So we're going to play pre-bend on that 10th to the 12th. Okay. And then we're going to play 10th on the 1st. And then we're going to hit that pre-bent note and bring it down to the 10th. That was a little bit too much. Okay, then 8, 10. And then now we're bringing it up and holding it and playing 10th again. And then bringing it back down. All right? If you look at the tab, you'll get it pretty clearly. All right, one more time. Here it is. Okay, then to end it up, we're going to play on the second string seventh, and uh, then we're going on the third string ninth, slide up to eleventh. Okay, and then we'll play on the second string tenth, uh, twelve, pull off to ten, and then tenth on the first. Here's the end part. Okay, here's that whole line. Okay, here's the rest of it. Okay, so that is a... Uh... Okay, so the first part is just kind of coming down in that D chord, so we'll play you know, 10th, and hold all this down so that it's ringing out. All right, so we're playing 10th on the 1st, 12th on the 2nd, and pulling off to that 10th on the 2nd. So you'll keep a little mini bar there. Okay, then 11th on the 3rd, and then back up, 10th on the 2nd, hammers of the 12th, and then play the 10th on the 1st. Okay, and then we're going to play the 12th on the 2nd, and then play it, the 12th, hold it up, bring it up to the 4th, 14th, I'm sorry. And then we're going to play, <clears throat> excuse me, the 14th on the 4th. Okay, here's that whole part. One more time, slowly. Okay, so then we're going to play 14th, 4th, 14th on the 4th, 2nd, and 14th, I'm sorry, 14th on the 4th, 2nd string, and then the 4th string again. And then we're going down to slide at just the 13th, and then play 12. So that part's a little bit syncopated, right? We're playing triplets here. Hear that kind of thing in the blues a lot, so that's why it's more of a country blues rather than straight country, or at least one of the reasons. All right, here's the last part. Okay, first thing is a slide on the fourth string from the twelfth to the seventeenth, and then playing the fifteenth on the second. Okay, and now we're going to bend the 17th on the 2nd up a whole step, then play the 17th, then the 15th, and then on the 3rd string, 16th, back to the 15th, give it some vibrato. Okay, then we're going to jump down two strings to play the 16th, and slide it down to the 14th, and then play end with the 12th on the 4th string. Give it vibrato. Okay? Here's that whole line again. And that's it. Well, there you have it, gang. Country rock solo in D. Hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun playing it. I like this style a lot. It's not too hard to get into the groove and play it. All right. Till next time, we'll see you on down the road.